everyone, so today, today I'm gonna do a video that I don't know if it's gonna become a series or if this is just gonna stop here and be the one and only situation that I do like this, but I'm just gonna show you a bunch of shit I got off Amazon. And it's not actual poop shit, it's like stuff, you know what I mean? But the thing about Amazon, for me at least, I can't speak for everyone, it's where all impulse control goes to die. <laughs> I get on there probably because I'm procrastinating on things and I just start finding random things on Amazon that I need in my life and I order them and they show up to my door two days later. So yeah, that's basically this video in a nutshell. So if you're interested in seeing all the random shit I got from Amazon, then just keep watching. Okay, where do I start? All right, I'm gonna start with the thing I'm most excited about. So excited about it that I got this like a month ago and still haven't worn it or opened it, but it's a really exciting piece. Actually, I saved this piece or something similar on my shopping cart on Amazon and then my husband bought it, it showed up and I was like, I don't think I ordered this. He's like, oh, I ordered it for you. And I was like, <sighs> find yourself a partner that will forever buy you random things off your Amazon shopping cart. All right, so you know how I've been obsessed the tie front blouses. I cannot stop with a tie front. So I was out searching for ties to wear with collared shirts. You know, I have a lot of just the black ones that have come with shirts in the past and I just take them off that shirt and wear them with all the other collared shirts I have. But I wanted something a little bit different. So I saw this, they have them in all different colors. Uh, got the, it's not barf green. This is like a really pretty forest green color but has a little bluish tint to it. I don't know, it's really pretty. But it's this tie front situ situation. You know, this video is just gonna be full of situations. But uh, it's just a tie front thing, but it's not an actual tie. It has a little button on the back, like a little button, like a pin. So you can pin it to any top. It doesn't just have to be a collar top. It could be any top, a high neck top, whatever. Also, it has this strap thing that you put around your neck, and luckily it's adjustable because of the skinny ass draft neck I got over here needs it to be a, like a small child. But regardless, it also has this fake little jewel on it, a little black jewel with this cute little, you know, it's, it's a pretty little brooch situation. And then it has a little dangly pearl, I'm sure it's faux, faux pearl hanging from it. And then what's that? Oh, a little bow. I love this and I now want it in every single color they have available because I think this is just really cool. Kind of gives this Victorian-esque vibe and this kind of, you know, like Dracula vibe is what I'm getting from it. Love it so much or like Penny Dreadful, whatever. I'm into it. All right, so next thing I got, <laughs> I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna dive in. It just seems so random after that bow tie. Okay, uh, I got this expandable garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be serious. And it's an expandable garden hose. Okay, so I don't ever use a garden hose, literally ever. When I was getting my deck stained, they were like, can we use your garden hose? And I was like, because mine was all messed up and terrible and whatever else. So they used the messed up terrible one. And then I went to go rinse off my chairs because when they were power washing, they got a bunch of dirt on it and or maybe it was just from the tree i don't know but i went to go wash off these chairs with this horrible hose literally holes all in it everything and the pressure there was like a trickle of water and i was trying to make it work i was like scrubbing the chairs trickling water all over it it was it was a mess okay it was terrible so i got myself a hose so i don't know what makes a good garden hose but i read all the reviews on amazon and this one looks like a legit option. Also, it fits in a little tiny lump. Like it's not this big hose that you have to put around this big old thing and wheel it in. I'm not trying to do any of that. No, I just want something that will go, like I can get a little pot and put this thing in the pot and just hope that when I reach in to grab the hose, 5,000 spiders don't come at me or a wasp nest doesn't happen. We're just gonna hope for the best. I'm not gonna try to get those things in my head because if you don't know my fear of wasps, it's on another level. Okay, so for 50 feet, this guy was $36. It says it came with, hey, I didn't get the nozzle. It says it came with a spray nozzle. There's no way there's a nozzle in here. There's a nozzle in here. Here it is, nozzle situation. It's got all the different, you know, shower, angled, all the different clicky clicky situations. And then you spray. 
Uh, and then here is the hose in this bag. This is how small, 50 feet in this little small thing for $36 plus a nozzle. So yeah, excited for that hose. I'm more excited now than I was when I got it. Okay, next. All right, so next up I got this plus white five minute speed whitening gel. I love this stuff. So long as time ago when I first started watching YouTube videos and beauty YouTube videos and all these different things, I watched a video on how Candy Johnson whitened her teeth. And it was it, she was like, this isn't sponsored. This is just what I've used for years. And it was this plus white five minute speed whitening gel. So I went out and got myself some and it was the best thing ever. You don't need a lie or fancy gear. It's not super expensive. I would say five to $10 depending on where you're getting it. But uh, they have a whole kit where you could get the trays and everything. But let me tell you, I went to Walmart and I got, this was years ago, and got those mouth guards, you know, the, that sports players. I don't know if, if you played sports when you were younger and needed a little mouth guard. I think I had one just for fun because I wanted one for basketball. Uh, it was back in the 90s where having a mouth guard was super cool. So uh, I had one and I think I lost it after like a day, but it was cool the one day I wore it. Regardless, I went to Walmart and got sports athletic mouth guards and I just followed the directions and made my own trays. And it's super inexpensive. I think the mouth guards were like five bucks. So you could whiten your teeth all together for maybe like $15 max. But yeah, if you're looking for a teeth whitening, you gotta get some of this because it's inexpensive and it works. Literally, I don't understand why these teeth whitening things are so freaking expensive Ugh, when you can just get this. Anyways, next. All right, so the next thing I got, totally not at all related to teeth whitening, a hose or uh, what do you call it? Tie front brooch situation. This is, it has dust and hair all over it because that's my life. I got a bunch of these vacuum storage bags. And before y'all try to tell me down in the comments that you can get them at the Dollar Tree, I know that's where I normally get vacuum storage bags. If you don't know that, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. But I have a lot of coats and jackets and big bulky items that I want to pack away. And the ones from the Dollar Tree, at least the Dollar Tree I go to, are not big enough for a bunch of coats or like you can't fit a lot into one. They're like a pretty standard size. So if you never use these bags before, what you do is you put some stuff in there, clothes, pillows, comforters, whatever, and then you take a little vacuum suction or this one actually came with a pump and then you, and actually they said in the reviews that the pump was legit, so we'll see how that goes. But you zip the bag shut or close it or seal it or whatever. And then there's a little thing in the front and you stick either your vacuum cleaner hose on it or you get the pump and then you take out all the air and it shrinks up the bag until it's like a little shriveled looking thing and then you can store it and it takes up way less space so anyways that's this excited about this living my best domestic life <laughs> all right so next up another random item i got this <laughs> saw this on somewhere it popped up in an article i think or maybe i've just been seeing it floating around i mean i've been seeing a lot about this type of stuff got one of those jade rollers and if you've never heard of these jade rollers First of all, I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't know what it looks like. Uh, but I've seen what they look like. It's a roller that has a jade stone on it. And so you roll it all over your face and your neck and it's supposed to roll out your wrinkles, <laughs> I guess. Or it has a bunch of different properties that uh, it's supposed to be magic. And I'm into it. So it came, first of all, I see this thing. I'm not really sure what this is, um, but it looks nice and jade-like. Uh. All right, so what you do is it's showing what direction you roll in. It gives you all the directions on what to do, which is gonna be helpful for me because I'm just now dabbling in this jade roller situation. All right, so here is the roller itself. Looks like a lot of the jade rollers I've seen. It has a, well, it has two ends. Sometimes you only see one end, but this one has a big end and a little baby end. So I'm assuming the baby end might be around the eyes or little nooks and crannies of the face and the big end can go on your neck and on your face and all of the larger areas. But it's supposed to just be this amazing, refreshing feeling on the face because the stone is really nice and cool. So when you apply your product, you can just roll your face. I don't even know, that sounds kind of like a bad horror movie or something. But regardless, you just roll your face and it's supposed to smooth out your wrinkles and your neck. I'm all about that 
because girls got some major tech neck going on from looking down and get the wrinkly ass neck going on. So I'm excited to try this. I still don't know what this does. Let's see what this little, wait, let's watch the video. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, got it. This thing here, you take this end, the long end, and you swipe up on the face like this. That's what she was doing, like this, and then like this. And that's apparently what you do with this. So the last thing I got from Amazon is another random thing and random thought that I was having in my mind, and then went on Amazon about it, naturally. Ah, uh, is this car trash can? <laughs> okay, I was using a Target bag and realized that was not the best option. I've also seen these bigger trash cans for the car. And I honestly, I don't need something that big. I just have, you know, little wrappers or like candy wrappers, or maybe I have a little, you know, granola bar and I just need to put a little wrapper in something small. So I wanted to find something just little that I could put in my car that would be a little discreet thing. Uh, and yeah, I found this. This is called Zuba. Zuba. It is a car trash can and it's supposed to fit in your little, you know, cup holder. And I'm hoping it fits in the side door cup holder because I don't really want it in my main cup holder. Oh, this is squishy. Whoa. Uh, what? All right, so here's what it looks like. Let me take this off first. It looks like a matte, hard looking trash can that you put, you know, it's got a little top that you push down and you put your little trash in there, but it is a full on squishy, look at that, squishy situation in there, which I don't know, I feel like could be good because it'll kind of form to your cup holder. Although down here it is plastic. And I think this is where you're supposed to take out the trash. Hold on, where are the directions? It's silicone, by the way, and removable base. Still trying to figure that out. Oh wait, there you go. So you just take it off like this and then empty your trash. Doo -doo. And then you put it back on. Oh God. There you go. You put it back on, actually it wasn't too hard. And then you put it in your car and you have your little trash can. And my favorite part about it is seriously this little thing that says push and then you just drop your trash in there. And I do like the silicone because I feel like the silicone would be easy to clean if it gets dirty. I'm way more excited about this than I really should be, but I can't help myself. I'm excited to have a little car trash can. Anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you want to see more shit I got from Amazon videos, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely do more because there are always more random Amazon purchases on the horizon. Also, everything in this video that I mentioned will be linked down in the description box for you, and I'll put it in the order that I mentioned it to, just to make it easier. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.